Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pokemaster Pook. We are back again today with some more Pokemon Sleep. We're going to log in here and get connected up to our Go++. We're going to see what we can get for our first sleep session of the week here at the Snowdrop Tundra. Which, obviously we did not get a whole lot of uh, sleep strength last night, or yesterday I guess I should say. 100 sleep score. Looks like a snoozing type. Snoozing type. Drowsy power is going to be... 5 million. We got 4 Pokemon spawning in. Not a whole big start to the week, unfortunately, but... Got two Jigglypuffs there, both seated sleep. Got a uh, Flaffy over there, and an Eevee down here at the bottom. Let's go. <clears throat> so you guys know my luck with Jigglypuff. So honestly, I don't even know if we're gonna <laughs> if we're gonna really recruit anybody. Because I have Eevees, so many Eevees. Not really a point to recruit an Eevee as well. I mean, I guess we could we could feed the Jigglypuff a bonus biscuit, but let's do it. Let's let's give it the bonus biscuit. Plus four. Pokey biscuit. We'll at, le we'll at least recruit one one Jigglypuff today. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. What happens? <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. It did. It didn't get full for once. We actually were able to recruit. The Jigglypuff we started working on. So that is going to finish it up for today, guys. Let's go ahead and scoot on over to see how good this Jigglypuff is. Droopy-eared sleep. We'll take it. Two seventy-five. Barely moving that research exp bar. Jigglypuff. Level 16 Timid Nature here, guys. So, skills Pokemon. As you can see, I have over a thousand Jigglypuff candy. We just cannot find ourselves a good one. EXP gains are up. Speed of help is down. This one... It has two skill triggers, and it has a skill level up at level 100, which that's kind of unfortunate, but I, I hate that EXP gains are up and speed of help is down, though. Um, I mean, even if it was just, eh, I mean, I don't know. This one's at least not terrible. It has two skill triggers. It has a skill level up. This one's not too bad of a Jigglypuff. Uh, I, I will at least take that. Which obviously, you know, it's rough out here if you're if I'm saying that that's a decent Jigglypuff. <laughs> I just can't find myself a good one. I like, honestly, a good healer in general. I just can't find one. We've got 2,000 sneaky snacking there. Still not enough to take us to the next level. Um, let's go ahead and collect up the sleep pass points here. We got 200 sleep pass points, making it 1,400. Let's go. And then we need our daily gift as well. Oops. Did not mean to click on the Venusaur there. Daily gift. Daily gift. There we go. And diamonds. We'll take it. 
We will take it. All right, now let's go ahead and collect up all of the uh, berries and ingredients here. And we are getting sort of stocked up on some more ingredients. We got 250. There we go. Snorlax to the next level. Basic 5 is achieved there. Let's go. So, let's head back here. Wait, I think we still had some Moo Moo Milk there. There we go. Um, let's get up all of these oils here. Obama Snow. With the skill. No eggs for us that time, unfortunately. Just a bunch of tomatoes. Oh, Absol. We almost forgot you. Up there blending in with the background. Tons of apples that time. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and get cooking. We're going to leave our uh, ingredients team out just for a little bit longer today. Um, after that, we are going to switch into a... Uh, more of a berry type team but I just want to try to stock back up on a good bit of the ingredients here because obviously we've still been cooking but our cooking pot is not nearly as big as what it was last week um, so we got 17,000 here from the Jigglypuff fruity flan which is awesome Which, honestly, if we could just keep cooking that, that would be ideal. But we're going to have to keep staying stocked up on a lot of these ingredients. <clears throat> so, Jigglypuff Fruity Flan going down. 17,000 there. Going to take us to great one. That's awesome. I will take that. Taking us up to great one there. All right, and then I do want to just briefly show you guys the team here that we are going to be using. So this is this is going to be our little berry finding team here for Snowdrop. Uh, we do still have two of our ingredient type uh, Pokemon on there, Absol and the Obama Snow. Um, I have the Eevee in there right now just so that we can continue to... Uh, work on the sleep hours with that Eevee. Um, that's the Eevee we're going to turn into the uh, shiny Sylveon. So once it becomes a Sylveon, then we'll obviously take it back off the off of the team. But uh, for now, we are going to use that on the team since it is uh, the right type of berry as well. So uh, we're going to use that for now. Well, not for now, but later on. Um, we're going to use this team and hopefully it's going to do some work all right but but while we're in here i do have some other things that i want to do i want to actually um evolve up a couple pokemon here so let's scroll down to i'm pretty sure this croconaw needs evolved this croconaw has berry finding s actually already on it so it's a pretty decent croconaw and we do have enough to evolve it, so let's go ahead and evolve up to the Fur Alligator. Croconaw is evolving. What? So this will be a pretty good Fur Alligator now. Definitely a lot better than my other Fur Alligator that I have. Especially since it has the Berry Finding S on it this time. Fur alligator. Let's go. All right, now there's a couple other ones. Um, there's the fur alligator. We need the Vigoroth, which is actually going to be on our current team here. 
Um, this one also has berry finding ass. It does not have it quite unlocked yet. We need to get it up to level 50 still, but that is doable. We, we do have level 50 already unlocked uh, in the game, so we can at least get it up to there. Um, it's going to still take a little while, though, but going to evolve up the Vigoroth into slacking now. Let's go. Got slacking in the game now. Very first time we're ever seeing slacking, actually. That's cool. 1405. Plus, it's got the berry finding us here at level 50. Super awesome. Alright, now I'm pretty sure there was a couple other ones that I wanted to evolve. So, like this Ryolu. I don't think we can quite evolve the Ryolu yet. Yeah, we need a couple more sleep hours with Ryolu. So, we might eventually sub that onto the team as well, even though it's not the correct type berry. Uh, we, we might still sub that on the team just to get some sleep hours with it. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's at least one other one, I thought. Is this... Yeah, this one must be my good Quilava. Can I evolve this yet? No, not close enough. Level 27. But this one also has Berry Finding S at well at level 50, so... That'll be pretty cool. Um, I thought that there was one other Pokemon that I wanted to evolve, but I don't think... I don't think there is. Well, we could evolve Swablu, but I don't want to evolve this Swablu in particular. I'd rather evolve this other Swablu that we have down here. If I can find it. This one. This would be the Swablu that I'd probably want to evolve. Into the Altaria. I think, I think. I didn't realize I already had two Swablus though that had Berry Finder Grass already unlocked on them though. This one has it at level 50, or I mean level 25. Speed of helps up. Eh, I don't know, maybe I, I would possibly want actually this one as the Altaria. We'll have to see. But either one, one of those will become an Altaria eventually. Uh, but for right now, I think we're going to leave both of them as Swablu, just because having them become an Altaria isn't going to really do me a whole lot at the moment. Um, but I think that is going to be all that we want to evolve currently at the moment. Uh, so let's head back then. And I think that actually is going to wrap up the video. Um, because we already gathered all the ingredients and berries. We cooked breakfast already. Oh, we still need to check out the research community here. So let's check out the research community real, real quick here. We gotta make sure that, um, Jordan is also back within the sleep hours here as well. Uh, so we got 22 new reports there. Let's make sure everybody is within the day. Within one day here. Uh, yeah, so Jordan did slip, fix the sleep hours there. Where's Jordan? Or at least it looks like he did anyways. Jordan, 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 Jordan. So, yeah, Jordan was at 1792. He's now at 1815. So, his progress is back up and running. I hate that there, there's that little glitch. Sometimes it will show three days because they may have taken a shorter sleep session a day earlier so then it looks like it's all messed up so i hope that they get that fixed eventually i would much rather you know be able to look in there and just see hey they were sleeping yesterday a shorter time but it's still within a day um something like that that would be 
a lot more helpful. It looks like we do get quickly get a mission done here as well. What's our what's our mission? 260 candies used. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, and then that is going to wrap up the video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We do post daily Pokemon sleep content here. Uh, and if you could just smash that like button as well for me, guys. Uh, it does help me out a ton here on the channel. Uh, I guess my videos recommended more to people that do want to watch the Pokemon sleep content. Uh, so definitely consider smashing that like button as well. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video, though. Peace.